to our scenic journey through Bordeaux. And what a beauty it has been. After a couple of days exploring the right bank of the river in the region of saint emilion today we have pulled up at Palau to journey through the left bank of the Gironde River known as the Madoc. Now, I don't always like to be independent, but I do like to have the option. And each day here, you can choose from all sorts of different things to do. You can go with a group, off to do all sorts of lovely things, or you can stay in bed and read a book all day if you would like. But I know that I'm going to be eating and drinking my way across France. And so today, I am going to a lovely vineyard, a beautiful chateau. But I'm going to earn it. I'm going to work my way there. All right. On the bar. Off we go. And if you haven't ridden for a while, don't worry. These are e-bikes. They are a gentle reintroduction to the world of cycling with the electric function, meaning less pedal power and more time to take in the gorgeous countryside. I absolutely love being on a bike because you get to say hello to, to everybody here. You can go as fast or as slow. You can stop for a photo if you like. You can break some grapes. Yes. <laughs> we are taking the scenic route to an 18th century wine estate, one of the most famous properties in all of the Medoc. Now, there is some truly amazing wine properties in this region, but I tell you, Chateau La Grange is regarded as one of the most beautiful in all of Bordeaux. What is the difference with the wines from the Medoc? Here in the left bank of the river, in the Medoc district, it is better for the Cabernet Sauvignon, Medoc, and Cabernet Franc. With this particular winery, is this a big winery? Yes, it is. It is one, one of them. Uh, we have more than 150 hectares of vines all around, and so you can find this wine all over the world. You must be proud when you cycle in here. You must be so proud of what mm. you see here. Oh, yes, really. It looks like a fairy tale because they mix the wine and the beautiful house. Further south, and I think quite fittingly, our final vineyard visit is the dessert wine region of the Sauterne. This is the region that grows the Sauterne wine, where through some weird twist of fate, a particular kind of microclimate, even a certain fungus they call noble rot, it all helps to create this really delicious, yummy wine. This magical sweet wine producing region is a relatively small corner of the world, just a short drive, or well, for us, a short cruise from the city of Bordeaux. And one of its most prestigious wines comes from these vines right here. Chateau de Merat. Is it okay to drink a sweet wine or, or a sauterne at any time? Do you have to have it with your dessert, after your meal? That's what I'd always thought. Do you have to do that? No. You do Good. whatever you want, whatever you like. Great. I drink it at any time. At any time. Yeah. Given the small size of the area and the labour required to harvest the grapes by hand, the wines of the Sauternes are more expensive than most other blends that you'll find in the region. Chateau de Marat is a truly stunning 30 hectare property with 22 hectares under vine. So your idea of a chateau is different to my idea of a chateau. I always thought a chateau was a castle. Yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> Here in the Bordeaux uh, wine area, uh, we called every wine estate uh, a, a chateau. Chateau. Uh, chateau. And even if there's just uh, a small house and facilities to make wine and vineyards, uh, it's, it's still a chateau. It's a, ca it's a chateau. Okay, it doesn't uh, have to have the turrets. And... No. But uh, every wine estate, every chateau has his own story, his own history, and that's very interesting. The region of Bordeaux and the entire country of France itself is a food and wine lover's paradise. Back on board our luxury spaceship, I've signed up for scenic culinary because I am determined to take home a few tricks of this fabulous French cuisine and knock the socks off my loved ones. And today we're cooking uh, cocovin. So cocovin, it's an old story about a romance, a battle, something like that. 
It's a uh, red wine, okay, and uh, uh, just a chicken. As well as brushing up on our skills to impress our loved ones at home, Jérôme, in his flamboyant French way, gives us an insight into local cuisine. What do you want to get? Onions or uh, leek is already clean? Je prefer le leek, because I don't want to cry. Ah, yes. Oh, sorry, <laughs> madame. I forgot. I will. Uh, oh, yes. I completely forgot. I used to do that, so... I do have to admit that my work in the kitchen, well, it's slightly less than impressive. But you know what? I think that with a dish like this in my repertoire, things are looking up. There's, um, there's lots of mmm, mmm, mmm <laughs> around the table. The great thing about the food here, everything is so fresh, produce is always different, so seasonal, and above all, his best compliment, yummy.